for you. Get our Toyota RAV fourth inning resets. A lot of home runs by the Nationals in this one. Five in all as they jump on Chase Anderson early and often. And then Aaron Wilkerson, too, and he comes in. 13 runs, 11 have scored via five home runs for Washington here. came a swing in here on a Sunday after losing a heartbreaker in 14 innings yesterday. As Wilkerson is back out there, just recalled from AAA San Antonio to help out a bullpen that was used to the last man standing in yesterday's game. Well, if you're Craig Council right now, it's about trying to preserve the bullpen for this three-game set coming up in St. Louis. If you can, try to stay away from Guerra, stay away from Matt Albers and Without question, Hater, more than likely, will not be in this one this afternoon. Dames, a nice flip to Wilkerson for the first down. Coming out of spring training, pitchers always working at pitchers fielding practice. PFP, little check swing, a good job by Wilkerson. Good feet, chest high feet from Eric Thames. Does a good job getting the ball out of his glove, giving Wilkerson enough time to see the ball and being able to track it. Touches the inside third of the bag. Well done in both parts. Here's Brian Dozier who had a three-run home run back in the third inning. how this series has gone. Kind of a crazy series from game to game. Nationals outlasting Milwaukee on Friday night, winning 2-1. to one. Good pitcher's duel. Yesterday, just about every pitcher got a beating or two from both hitting ball clubs as Milwaukee finally prevailed 15-14 in 14 innings. And then today, this, this early barrage of home runs by the Nationals. A couple of good pitching positives of last night's game. Pomeranz pitched a very clean fifth inning. One, two, three, fifth inning. Josh Hader kind of find him, found himself. Blew the save, blew the bases with nobody out in the bottom of the ninth. There's a good look at Josh. A little smile on his face. I think he feels pretty good about himself. That's the Josh Hader. We haven't seen him for quite a while. That good ride, that fastball up in the zone, 97-98. He's having a tough time early on in that inning. Everything was cutting down in the zone. Threw a few breaking balls last night, threw some good sliders, but when he needed it to come up big, he came up giant. It's hard to strike out Turner, Eaton, and Rendon back to back to back, particularly with the bases loaded. This one popped up by Gomes, and it just reaches the stands. There's another E10 for you down there. Did you see that? Saw it. It's... Bad here in D.C. Best way to put it. I was at the game Wednesday at Miller Park. Saw four or five really nice catches. I mean, they're just running for cover. Look at that guy. The bar, ball is already down on the ground. It's like you give him two errors. You can't give him two errors for that. Ah, he, he paid a ticket to get in. He's getting the selfie taken there, too. He's getting a picture. There it is. St. G's. There it is. Go ahead. Fix the salad. There he goes. Smile, cheese! Perfect. To put on his Instagram, caught a bullet, first base dugout. Protected my girlfriend, yeah. right? And your buddy's gonna say, you can't, there's a net there. You need a bullet. It's a rocket. I tell you, every game I go to, I still wanna get a foul ball. Go to a game, I think everybody does. You're not gonna get one up here. Nah, uh, Rather, you'd have to really get some height. You are not getting We're one about up here. six stories up here in this booth. We knew it was raining before it was raining on the spectators down on the field. I wasn't sure if the rain was actually hitting them. We're up so high. By the time it reached them in the seat, it, it all dried up. I will say this. It's cooled things off here a little bit. It doesn't seem as hot and steamy as it was early. Here we are. We're way up there. All the way up, folks. Can you see us? There we are. Is there a camera out there somewhere? I can't see that far away. Yeah, there is. There, it's way out there. It's over by the Capitol building. That 
we can see from here. A lot of uh, new condos and retail buildings going up, business buildings around the area. This place has really boomed. So they built the stadium first and then basically redistrict the surrounding area. And it's a, a destination go-to spot here now. Good vibe down here when we come down here before games. Home strikes out. I was really impressed. I did the Wednesday game for YouTube TV in Miller Park, the Twins Brewers game. How things, how well received and the fans are following this Brewer team. Over 40,000 for those two games, each game on Tuesday and Wednesday. Great vibe at Miller Ballpark. Was fortunate. A tough one to watch game seven of the league championship series last year. One of the better venues, a great venue for baseball. The roof, I think, has made it so much more enjoyable. It's in April and even at the Bay can be a little inclement in Milwaukee. In September, you can get some cold, rainy days. Great ballpark to play in. Great food, about as good as it gets. If you haven't been to Miller Park, you should make it a stop. Well, you can't say enough about the roof, that's for sure. It certainly is uh, guaranteeing fans that they're going to get in. Is, uh, let's take a look at Manny on that previous pitch. And again, off the forehead. It's the second time he has been squared up pretty good with a foul tip. Really not much help either. Randall caught all 14 innings last night. We'd assume Yasmani, Craig Council touchdown in the postgame. Lost a lot of water weight last night. Hot, muggy conditions. This one hit by Fetty. All the way out to the warning track out there in center field. Grisham's got it for the final out. 